All right, here's our uh, little Dallas uh, for our PS2 computer. Uh, did some searching on the web. Thanks, guys, for those who uh, figured this out. And I cut it, and right up here, um, let me get a focus there. There we go. I used the Dremel tool, and I cut down, and then I kept going. It's basically a regular dip pin pushed up along with this one. And then this one is held all the way up, and then they soldered the battery lead on it. And what you have to do is you have to use the Dremel tool. Once you get down there, then you just separate it. And then this will be the uh, the negative side, and this will be the positive side. And here's your wafer uh, switch that I pulled off a, a motherboard that was bad, and it's a three volt battery. Um, the positive side is the case, the main case. The bump in the middle is, is your negative side. And that goes to here, this side right here. So when you actually mount it on there, I would, uh, I would probably mount it like this. And then just use your wire and solder it there and then solder a negative and then bring it around to this side. And then probably hot glue or epoxy this on there. And then, uh, then you can stick it in your computer and do your boot up, set your time and all the other stuff you need to do. And that should work. When I, when I get it all completed, I'll, I'll show it to you guys. Okay, I got the, some wires tinned up right here. Um, a black one and a red one. Yeah. And I'll uh, put some heat shrink on the black one since it'll be on the back. Uh, the red one won't need any because it'll be right up against the pin. I just need a little wire to extend it a little bit. And that should work. Uh, this is just solder braid. A uh, case that I opened up and I put solder in it. It's easier. It's it's a lot smaller and easier to use than a, than a big bulky uh, spool of it. So I, I use it like that. So I'll get it together and I'll show it to you. I soldered the bottom one on first. And then I soldered the black one on. Uh, you can just set it like that. And use your soldering iron to get some heat on it and the heat will shrink it up it's, I like using chisel tips they seem to work pretty good my phone keeps hitting it <laughs> just shrink it up there you go. anyways you get the idea I'll go ahead and shrink it up for you and then, then show it to you Okay, she's uh, soldered on and heat shrinked up, and I'll uh, I'll go cut them to length and put them on the unit, and I'll show it to you. Okay, I got the uh, I cut the wire off, and I cut the black one off, and I pretend the the negative lead here, and what's going to happen is it's going to sit on here uh, like this, and this one will. Uh, solder onto there and then I'll bring this one and I'll wrap it around and push it down and it'll solder onto the to the negative lead right there and then I'll just glue this on top Okay, I got it soldered on. You can see I kind of bent that side down and put it in there. Uh, this one I just wrapped the wire around and bent it on and uh, soldered it. I'm going to have to clean all the flux off though. And I got a little bit of heat shrink on this side. You can see it just wraps up over around the top there. And I think some uh, hot glue or some epoxy will fix that. Might not even have to play with it. Just leave it the way it is. It's up to you. Oh, I bent me a pin here. I'll take care of that. Anyways, uh, there you go. That's pretty much how you fix your little uh, Dallas uh, 1287, DS-1287. And you put a little rechargeable lithium 3-volt battery in there. And that should do it for you. Stick it back into your computer and, and get it working again. Bye.